Hello, this is Minecralix here, and welcome to episode 8 of Redstone Super Flat Survival. And it looks like we got a chicken spawn. This is so nice. We finally have a chicken spawn. Which means we can get feathers and eggs. All that good stuff. Let me just fence this little guy in. Kill the little dude. And we got a chicken. We have a chicken. Which is so nice. So, one thing with chickens is that uh, they actually, they very easily like, I don't know why, but they're, um, they're made so that they can very easily glitch out. So, what I think I'll do is I'll kind of, yeah, I'm not sure, yeah, wait, how did you, how? Please get back inside. Okay, okay, what, 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 what do, what do I do to lure him in? Chicken, 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 chicken. But how can he, like, how, how do you fly? How do you fly? Ow. Ow, okay, I'm gonna make it too high now. I'm gonna make it too high now. I'm gonna make it too high. Let me see. Come on, move over. This is the only spot that's not too high. No, no okay, now, no, okay, now. That was just blocking me. Now it's just blocking me. Okay, let me just. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna cram. Make a crafting table right here. Okay, okay. Just place it down here. Yeah, this is where our chicken farm is gonna be. Uh, so anyway, so I'm. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna make some more fences. So I can like and fence this part as well. And I made some changes up there where I like created. So it's like. And you now stay. You now stay inside. It's really nice. So yeah, anyway. Um, basically, the chicken, what's gonna happen is now, the chicken, it will, um, it will lay eggs, and then if we take those eggs and we shoot them, like, then it has a 1 in a chance of spawning a baby chicken. And then that way we can get a chicken farm going here, so then we can have, like, Many, many chicken, and that's gonna be great. We're gonna have so much food. Yeah, it will be great. But in the meanwhile, I just have to wait for it to lay eggs. So then I'll just place torches around here, just in case some mobs don't come. So yeah, I made some changes right here, so we got quite a bit of mobs now. And how did that just happen? He almost exploded. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna then... Ah, uh, yeah, this is not working out like I thought it would. Okay, I'm just gonna be from here. Okay, can I reach them? <laughs> nope. No rare spawns yet, and I have put that torch inside there so I can see if there's like any iron or anything. So this is how our mob grinder design is gonna look like for a while until I... Let me get that. Let me get that real quick. Let me get that. Yeah, we would have been in deep trouble if, like, if, um, say, for example, a creeper had fell while we were, like, getting those drops. But this will definitely slow down the amount of drops we get. Like, we're not going to get as much drops. And we are definitely, and it's, it's, and it's going to stop being, like, automatic, like, um, uh, because then we're going to have to come up and actually kill them. But anyway, we got a witch, and it dropped some sticks, and uh, spider eyes. That is the worst thing a witch could have dropped. I mean, I wish the witch had dropped some redstone, or some sugar, or some glowstone. Which would be very, very nice, but no, she had to drop the stupid spider's eye. Ah, it's still useful anyway, um, but on the other hand, actually not. Yeah, we are going to have to wait for that chicken to spawn those uh, eggs for us, so then we can uh, get some, get a breeder going. Let's see, has spawned any eggs? Nope, it has not. And look at that go. So, let's see. Nope. The zombies are the most useful because the zombies are the ones that actually drop iron. 
Um, oh yeah, yay, we reached level 20. Uh, it's completely useless because we're nev basically almost never going to do enchanting. So. Oh. The creepers are the scariest because if they blow this part thing apart, then... Uh, then we are going to be screwed. And notice how the sky is dark. That's because that's how it... That's how it, um... That's how it rains in the desert. In the biome of the desert, it never rains. It just gets, like, dark like this. And, oh my god, maybe we can get some iron from this. Oh, come on, guys. At least it would give me a potato or something. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. <sighs> oh my god, guys. Yeah, we really have to... Uh, uh, oh my god, guys. Yeah, that was a close call. We really have to be careful with these. So unless, okay, so from now on, unless there is like a drop that I really, really need, or unless, ooh, a new bow, can get a fixed bow. Anyway, so at least, um, I mean, un unless there's like a carrot or a potato or anything like that, I'm not gonna mine in here. And, uh, whoa, that scared me. And if I am gonna get the iron or anything, I am, I will actually, I think I will, I think what I'll do is I block this off, so then... Yeah, yeah. This is this is like this is a putting real strain on our mob grinder because we will get a lower amount of mob drops, and many things rely from mob drops, like such as our carrots, and many other things rely from mob drops, such as bones and uh, string, and I need more string for carpet. But that's kind of a short-term effect. But this will slow down some of my production of mob drops but on the other hand we will start getting iron from it we haven't gotten any iron as of yet but hopefully i will get potatoes as well from this so then we can diversify and eat baked potatoes instead of carrots if we want to but carrots are good as well and i'm very very thankful that the zombie down there dropped a carrot but anyway let me just see nope it's not spawning anything uh, let's see, let me just put that down here. And when the when there's gonna be creepers, what I think I'll do is I think I'll just, um, kill them with a bow. Come on, which, oh my god, it's dark. It's dark, yeah. Anyway, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna... Yes, redstone. Okay, let me just drop, block that off a bit. So then I can safely come in here and get all these drops. And redstone counts as a rare drop, so I will swoop in and get some of it. Let me just mine that off right here. And it seems that we are getting very, very low on cobblestone. So what we're going to have to do is, I mean, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go down again and to mine more cobblestone. But I don't want to bore you out, guys. So that what I'm going to currently do is I'm not going to mine it until I really, really need it. And oh, yes. We are getting more redstone. More redstone. So now we have um two redstone. So nice to look at it. I love redstone. So uh, anyway, to make that redstone clock, we're going to need three redstone torches. So what I think I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to craft two redstone torches right now. Oh my god, the torches. They're so expensive in this world. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to craft two redstone torches, and it, it's still going to be right here, because it's going to be taking the place of redstone. Oh, oh no, actually, oh no, actually, I was, I'm thinking, hmm, where should I place this? Maybe I'm going to have a chest that is dedicated to redstoning um, and mechanisms. Okay, so actually, yeah, I'm going to, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put it inside this chest. This is going to be my redstone chest. Um, and mechanisms chest. It doesn't have much inside it, but I hope I can get more. And oh my god, how did so many things spawn me? Just kill off these. Come on, give me something rare. Give me something rare. Give me something rare. Oh, oh, oh my god. 
Please don't, please don't creep her. Oh, that was such a close call. Oh my god. That was so, such a close call. Why do we keep on risking it, guys? Like, we really shouldn't, um, go in there. Well, I really shouldn't go in there. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Oh, that, that just scared me. The sound of the creepers makes me jump so much. And these creepers are so useless, because all they give is gunpowder, which you completely don't need, because we don't have, um... We don't have any... So, uh, we don't have, like... We don't have any, um... Sand in this world, even though it's funny, because it's sandstone, but unfortunately we don't have any sand. Which means... Let me just sleep real quick. So... What I'm thinking is that since we don't have sand in this world... We're not going to be able to, like, make any TNT, and we don't even need TNT anyways. So, the other use for gunpowder is for brewing potions and for, um, for making splash potions for brewing potions. Uh, and also, another use for them is to, um, is to make, uh, fireworks. But to make fireworks, I need paper. And to make paper, I need, um, sugar cane. And in this world, we only have sugar, but we don't have sugar cane. So, basically, and the brewing, we won't be able to get to brewing in a long time. So, I might as well just throw the gunpowder out. But, since gun, I, I have a lot of storage space currently, I don't actually need to um, throw anything out yet. Let me see. Let me just kill all these creepers if I can. Maybe I can... Yeah, hopefully they don't see me. Oh, didn't give me anything rare. Unfortunately not. But if I did get something rare, I would see it on the ground over there. So, yeah, we got another bow. We can repair our existing bow, which is really nice. But we are definitely running out of arrows pretty soon. And we are running low on mob drops. I really did not expect this guy's running low on mob drops. I mean, we built this huge thing to get mob drops, and yet we are still low on mob drops, unfortunately. But, I mean, what can you expect from a non-flooded design? So, my chicken has still not laid an egg yet. And what I'm thinking right now, what I could do right now is, I could go mine more cobblestone. Basically, I need more rare drops, such as iron and redstone, to start my redstone clock over here. Um, to start making, like, and getting redstone so I can start trying to find slime chunks underground is one of the things I want to do. It's going to be very, very hard. We're going to have to uh, mine out a huge... Um, huge underground area for um just for slimes to spawn but that will definitely give us lots of cobblestone but right now what i think what i should do right now is to expand the mob grinder but to expand the mob grinder we're gonna have need cobblestone and we're gonna need and to get cobblestone we of course have to go down there to mine more cobblestone but i do not want to bore you out guys out so i think i will end the episode soon Right after I kill off all these zom- I mean, no, I mean, not zombies, I mean creepers. Fortunately. Hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that was pretty close. Uh, yeah. I finally got some more arrows. Oh, oh. Yeah, anyway, so... Thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't too short of an episode. I'm not sure how long was it, because I didn't time myself. Time myself. So, anyway... This is this was my Kralix. See I hope you enjoyed the let's play and see you all in the next video. Please subscribe, rate and comment.